Today, we explore Richard Feynman. Known as the Great Explainer, Feynman revolutionized the way we think about science, curiosity, and the mysteries of the universe. His quotes inspire us to question, explore, and embrace the beauty of the unknown. Let's begin. Fall in love with some activity and do it. Nobody ever figures out what life is all about and it doesn't matter. Explore the world. Nearly everything is really interesting if you go into it deeply enough. Study hard what interests you the most in the most undisciplined, irreverent, and original manner possible. I learned very early the difference between knowing the name of something and knowing something. The first principle is that you must not fool yourself, and you are the easiest person to fool. I can live with doubt and uncertainty and not knowing. I think it's much more interesting to live not knowing than to have answers which might be wrong. Science is the belief in the ignorance of experts. It doesn't matter how beautiful your theory is, it doesn't matter how smart you are, if it doesn't agree with experiment, it's wrong. I would rather have questions that can't be answered than answers that can't be questioned. Physics is like sex. Sure, it may give some practical results, but that's not why we do it. If you can't explain something to a first-year student, then you haven't really understood it. We never are definitely right. We can only be sure we are wrong. Religion is a culture of faith, science is a culture of doubt. What is not surrounded by uncertainty cannot be the truth. We need to teach how doubt is not to be feared but welcomed. It's okay to say, I don't know. If you thought that science was certain, well, that is just an error on your part. Don't pay attention to authorities. Think for yourself. Study hard what interests you the most in the most undisciplined, irreverent, and original manner possible. Science is the organized skepticism in the reliability of expert opinion. The highest forms of understanding we can achieve are laughter and human compassion. You can always recognize truth by its beauty and simplicity. You have no responsibility to live up to what other people think you ought to accomplish. I have no responsibility to be like they expect me to be. It's their mistake, not my failing. I'm smart enough to know that I'm dumb. The only way to deep happiness is to do something you love to the best of your ability. Fall in love with some activity and do it. Nobody ever figures out what life is all about and it doesn't matter. Explore the world. Nearly everything is really interesting if you go into it deeply enough. Poets say science takes away from the beauty of the stars. Mere globs of gas atoms. I too can see the stars on a desert night and feel them. But do I see less or more? See that the imagination of nature is far, far greater than the imagination of man. The internal machinery of life, the chemistry of the parts is something beautiful. And it turns out that all life is interconnected with all other life. Things on a very small scale behave like nothing that you have any direct experience about. They do not behave like waves, they do not behave like particles, they do not behave like clouds or billiard balls or weights on springs or like anything that you have ever seen. I don't know what's the matter with people, they don't learn by understanding, they learn by some other way, by rote or something, their knowledge is so fragile, I was terrible in English, I couldn't stand the subject. It seemed to me ridiculous to worry about whether you spelled something wrong or not, because English spelling is just a human convention. It has nothing to do with anything real, anything from nature. Until I began to learn to draw, I was never much interested in looking at art. Once I get on a puzzle, I can't get off. Perhaps one day we will have machines that can cope with approximate task descriptions, but in the meantime we have to be very prissy about how we tell computers to do things. Science is a way of trying not to fool yourself. The first principle is that you must not fool yourself, and you are the easiest person to fool. Experiment is the sole judge of scientific truth. The scientific method is doing your damnedest, no holds barred, to see what the hell is going on. Nature cannot be fooled. The pleasure of finding things out is the most beautiful experience. Observation, reason, and experiment make up what we call the scientific method. And without doubt, it's the best way to explore the world. It doesn't matter how beautiful your theory is or how smart you are. If it doesn't agree with experiment, it's wrong. Physics is to mathematics what sex is to masturbation. Sure, it might give some practical results, but that's not why we do it. Science is the belief in the ignorance of experts. I think nature's imagination is so much greater than man's that she's never going to let us relax. I would rather have questions that can't be answered than answers that can't be questioned. I can live with doubt and uncertainty and not knowing. I think it's much more interesting to live not knowing than to have answers which might be wrong. What is not surrounded by uncertainty cannot be the truth. Reality must take precedence over public relations, for nature cannot be fooled. There is no harm in doubt and skepticism, for it is through these that new discoveries are made. 
Doubt is not to be feared, but to be welcomed. It's okay to say, I don't know. Science is about appreciating the beauty of the unknown while trying to uncover it. The more I learn, the more I realize I don't know. That is the beauty of discovery. Trying to understand the way nature works involves deep mystery, and one has to be content to understand that it's a mystery to be explored. In the pursuit of understanding, one must accept ambiguity, for certainty is often a mask for ignorance. The highest forms of understanding we can achieve are laughter and human compassion. You have no responsibility to live up to what other people think you ought to accomplish. I'm smart enough to know that I'm dumb. The only way to deep happiness is to do something you love to the best of your ability. Explore the world. Nearly everything is really interesting if you go into it deeply enough. Life is not about finding the right answers but about asking the right questions. It is the glory of human beings to know they are not the center of the universe and still choose to explore it. Fall in love with some activity and do it. Nobody ever figures out what life is all about and it doesn't matter. Look at the world with wonder and you will never cease to learn. We are lucky to live in a universe where the laws of nature invite curiosity and reward persistence. Thank you for joining us on this journey into the world of Richard Feynman, a man who showed us the importance of curiosity, the value of doubt, and the endless joy of discovering the unknown. His words remind us to keep asking questions, embrace uncertainty, and find wonder in the world around us. If you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more insights from some of history's greatest minds. Stay curious, and we'll see you in the next episode.